Facebook has brought out more futures in their live producer. And that's where I want to go in today and show you a little bit around using Facebook live producer because we know Facebook is now pushing lives. You see it, they are pushing reels which most of the time you can do live or should do live, but also Facebook wants us to get used to videos and keep them in the platform. If we have not been formally introduced, my name is Annette Block. We make real estate marketing easy. I am also a real estate broker, so I know exactly what goes on in the industry and what we are doing in our business. I want to give you an insight in Facebook Lives and also how to navigate to the Facebook Live producer so that you can reach more audience. We know Facebook audiences are down, Facebook reaches are down, so meaning that our audience building is struct uh, structured with videos a little bit different and through the videos I can reach more people out in my field or on my Facebook business pages. So let me show you around in the new uh, Facebook live creator where you can see and it is amazing what you can do with the lives you are streaming. That is the background of our live producer where we are now going in and we can go live with two different uh, structures. You can use your webcam where you are going live directly in Facebook or you can use a third party application like Zoom, especially when you are interviewing people. So when you are going live directly on your phone or directly on your desktop, you are not able to have an interview face to face on your desktop in a live stream. Yes, you can do it in Messenger, but or in rooms, but the quality is not as great. So that's why we are recommending, like we are using Zoom when we do have a live uh, uh, interview, or even when we want to share our screen, it is much, much easier with Zoom to share my screen with you. You also can go and use, like I am doing, a stream software, which is Zoom. Especially in groups, I cannot upload my Zoom up into a group, so I need to streamline into my Facebook group so that I am able to go live in my Facebook groups as well. So that is the work around Facebook that did a lot of updates so we need to stay on top and I was not able for a very long time to go live in my Facebook group. I really was considering shutting it down but with Zoom coming in and now I can use Zoom as a streaming software I am now able to go live in groups. So if you have a Facebook group and you no longer can share your screen with your Facebook group then and using Zoom try the streaming software using Zoom. So now you can share your screen as well using Zoom and the stream software with Facebook. We also want to put a title and a description. The title is very important because a title tells your consumer right away what is going on and they make a decision if they want to take a look now live or down the road when the live comes into their stream. We also put a description in here and Facebook gives you very easy these steps. They want you to connect your video. You can do the live streaming or the webcam streaming. So that is 
depending what you want to achieve, you can go directly live into the group, but you are not able to share your screen, so you would need stream sharing software. Then you complete all the post details, like title and description, and then you go live. When you have the little blue button down here, now you are able to do, do live. And I show you at the end because I am at the other screen live with you so that I can show you around here. Now we can make camera controls. So you can select your media if you have like a Logitech camera or if you want to use your computers, your audio, audio so media source, if you want to do a mic or whatever you want to uh, use as your media source, now you can put that in here. The next thing is your dashboard. When you click your dashboard, now you can see very easy. You can see yourself doing the live here. You see the comments coming in. So that is an upgrade because before you had to check your phone about the comments. So they really, really put work into it so that you are using the platform and be visible on their platform. You will get all the insights here, how many likes, how many reactions, how many viewed your video. And now you can even set your some goals and you have your stream metrics in here. Settings is very interesting, especially when we are going in a little bit deeper. So here you are setting up your stream where you have your stream and your live videos, if your streaming is a little bit, if your internet is not as well. So we always put that off so that we are not interrupted if you are turning it on, meaning your video will stop when your internet connection gets lost. So here I can do what I want to do if I want to auto stream, recommendation, low latency, and then if I want to embed this video, I can make it yes or no. So here you have the ability. And then we are going into the viewership. Again, I can set the settings, allow viewers to rewind the video, allow viewers to message you when you are live. Then we do have the comments in here. You can set this as well that everybody can comment, that only your followers can comment. You can slow down the comments a little bit, especially when you have a lot of comments coming on, so they slow a little bit down. Or you restrict only to account users, Facebook account users, who have their Facebook account for more than two weeks. Now we are going into our live tab. This is the live tab. You copy and put this over into your live stream software if you want to, and the live videos will be all on top in your live stream um, tab on Facebook, where now your live streams are all on your live stream tab. Interactivity. So here now that is where you are getting interaction. You can put out polls during your live videos. So that is where you now can ask questions and people can answer so that they can interact with you where you are answering as ask a question and you give them options to answer your poll. Your question, you will see them in here. You can add them. And now also you can put graphics in it. You can do prompts and also you can distribute your videos to different platforms. It is always something it is called cross post, but that is a strategy you have to think about it if you want all the same content across your post. So you can cross post on different pages you own and you also now can share your life when you are live on your Facebook business page. Now you are able to share this in 
to groups as well. So we are using this option right now where I am live on my business page, Annette Block, but I also streaming into my real estate marketing made easy platform. So being right now live on my Facebook business page, but at the same time also in my Facebook group. So I share more things in my Facebook group than on my business page. So you are welcome to join. So let me go back to the setup of our stream. And here we are back. And here you have also the option now to upload your thumbnail for your video. So when your video shows up in your feed, you are not like, or, or a, a funny picture of you. You can now go into Canva. If you know we are using Canva, you now can create a thumbnail for the video that shows when your video um, is in your feed. So that helps you not looking funny on the videos because you never know how those videos show up on your feed on Facebook. Here we are able again to cross post to more pages. You can share it to pages and groups. And also you are now able to promote where you are now able to put a group onto and promote that group as well. So this is, you see, what we can do. And then you also can go into your audience settings. You can public stream it to an audience. You decide restricted, allow only selections of your audience. So depending what your video is all about. If you want to do a seller video, maybe you have a seller audience, you can restrict now that video into audiences. And that is very, very helpful, especially with Facebook. Facebook wants us within the platform. They are now coming in with the real reels. So making sure that we are making the use of Facebook videos as much as possible. You also, when you are using your Facebook lives, you are now can go back into your Facebook lives. When they are finished, you can go in, you go into the little three little dots, you can go into your feed, uh, click the three little dots in the corner, and then it opens the field and you could get co can go back and edit your video where you are now can put as well your image when you didn't do it at the front. You can go back in and put the description in, put your title in, you can uh, use tags and also update your thumbnails. And when the video is finished, when we are finished with the live video, the cool thing is now I can edit the video. So when there are uh, some stream delays of two minutes and there is a two minute silence, now I can cut that two minutes out so that we I don't have any that time in it. I also can make video clips. So using clips of my videos, of my live videos, or even in my other video uploads that keeps my audience engage and I can stay in front of my audience. So I believe the new Facebook live update is a great accomplishment. So I like it. It is more user friendly. It is accessible right away. I have everything in one place. Before I had to go back in, enter the title, go back in, edit, go back in, put the picture in. But now Facebook makes it very, very easy so that I am having more tools for optimizing my videos and also make it more engaging for my audience. I am now able to structure that videos. I can do video themes and video series, which I would recommend you can do. You then can put them into your playlist or into your series so that people can navigate very easy 
and find the content they want to do. If you are afraid and if you are scared of that whole setup, it doesn't mean that you can't do videos. If you want to go live and you are comfortable with your phone, then certainly take your phone and do the lives. It goes quicker, you do go in, you put your title in, you put your description in and you are going live. So don't be afraid because that is the background on your desktop. Use your video, use your videos on um, your, your phone, doing videos in Facebook Live, use the app when you are comfortable doing this. You don't need all that Facebook editor if you are quicker and more comfortable on your phone. If you want to do the editor, you always can go back in. In I do it through a business suite or through Creator Studio, where I also can go back into the videos and make some adjustments. So, but as you see, Facebook wants us to do more videos. If you are an agent and you not doing videos, it is time to get comfortable. The good thing also is you now can schedule your videos or you can broadcast your video. So test your video first. So you go live on your site, but nobody sees it. When you are going live, broadcasting your video, now you are not seen on your feet and you can get used to doing video. So that is another tool Facebook has put in where you are now able to, uh, able to learn a little bit, get more comfortable before you actually going live. So you see, Facebook makes it easy. NAR just put out a statistic where only 40% of agents using video. So more than 60% are not doing videos or not doing it consistently. So what I would recommend, especially when you want to do videos, if it's live videos or if it's produced videos, be consistent. Put them out on a certain day on a certain hour so that your consumer can expect every Wednesday 12 noon Annette is coming live on her business page and in her group. If nothing uh, goes wrong with my setup, so usually every Wednesday 12 noon you will learn and hear something new I am showing you so that you can be more efficient on your use of Facebook or use in your real estate marketing, because we want to show how easy it is and how you can implement real estate marketing in your business easy and efficient. That is where we are getting. This is a little tool tip for today so that you are able to do video live. You also can go directly from your Facebook business page live, but you always will end up if you are doing this on the back end of Facebook producer. So that is where I gave you today a little insight how it looks. It looks more scarier than it is. Just go in, you don't need to get live, but familiarize yourself with the video setup, with, with all the tabs where they are, so that you are going and get comfortable of doing live videos, because at the end of the day, your consumer expects you to get used and be live on your Facebook page so that they can to get to know, like, and trust you. So that is very, very big. If you want to be in the forefront, video also will get you more reach and the best thing on the videos if you don't know yet and you know a little bit about audiences. Now videos also help build your audiences. Facebook made some changes with video views and that's something we are going in a little bit later. 
but this is our Facebook um, live manager, creator, Facebook live creator, where you all now have everything in one place and it is very, very easy to use and get, go and go live. If you want to know more about, so just follow me on my uh, business page on that T blog. We are bringing you always new information so that we can show you that real estate marketing is easy for your business, easy to implement so that you at least have a little bit better understanding of the tools and what you can do with it. So if you liked watching this, follow me along. At the other hand, thanks for watching. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen.